Hello, hello, good people of YouTube. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2015, and I'm your host, Wolf Tiger. And today, I bring to you another fine episode of The Things That Make You Go Hmm. The series that takes an editorial and sometimes sarcastic look at the realm of video games and technology. So let's get started, shall we? Well, Dead or Alive fans, DOA 5 has come out on the PC. Good news, right? Well, not exactly. Unfortunately for you, you've been nominated for the game show. Good news or bad news? Are you ready to play? Well, here we go. The good news is, the game is out on the PC. It's awesome. Expect to see it soon. The bad news? Unfortunately, there's two game modes missing and online multiplayer won't be available for another three to four months. That's right, the main reason that you'll be wanting to play this game won't be available for a while. On top of that, it seems we decided not to actually port the PlayStation 4 version, but a less superior version, as we've ported the PlayStation 3 version over to PC. That's right, not the next generation console version, but an older version for a lesser console. So isn't that a great prize? Yeah, I'm sure you're just thrilled. Well, let's find out more about this awesome prize package. From GameSpot.com, Koei Tecmo's fighting game Dead or Alive 5 Last Round, which the publisher is labeling the defining Dead or Alive experience through a press release, isn't quite living up to that description on PC. The game, already available to consoles, launched today for PC without an online multiplayer mode and there's no support for achievements or Steam Cloud. What's more, two stages from the console version, the Danger Zone and the Crimson are missing, according to a post on the game's website. Last Round's online multiplayer mode is expected to launch through a post-release patch within three months, meaning sometime before the end of June. Up until then, Koei Tecmo is offering the game on Steam for a 10% discount, meaning you can pick it up for $36 instead of $40. Last Round does feature an offline mode for up to 4 players. Last Round isn't a bare bones experience however, as the game does come with the biggest roster of fighters ever for a Dead or Alive game. A total of 34 characters round out the lineup, including newcomers Raido and Hanoka. Doesn't that prize package sound wonderful? For the low price of $36, you get something worth considerably less. Unfortunately, yes, we admit we're giving you something at a lesser value, and you save a whopping $4. That's right, you can go out and get yourself half a Happy Meal for the savings for what we're offering you here. And we won't be giving you two of the modes that you fell in love with on the console version. No, those will never be there. And we're lacking online multiplayer support, so you can't be playing with your friends. Well, technically you can have them all sitting around your PC as they hook up some controllers and some of them are left to share the keyboard. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, not exactly. And for some unexplicable reason, we felt the need to actually go and port a lesser version. Why even bother to buy it on PC when it looks better on the PlayStation 4, has all of the modes, and you can play online with friends and foes? That's a good question, but here are two extra characters that you're going to love that will make up for half of the game being gone. And just so you don't notice, we're offering a $4 discount. Please, don't look at that online mode icon. But seriously, why even bother to release this game if its primary focus, fighting other people, isn't fully available at launch? Why not delay it those three months? It only makes sense 
and it's what the fans would want. Honestly, I don't see any reason for this PC version. It doesn't look better than the console version. It's not even a full port of the latest and most technically advanced version. No, they decided to port over the PlayStation 3 version. Why? Nobody really knows. It just doesn't make sense. It's not like the PC hardware couldn't handle the PlayStation 4 version. No, Tecmo just decided we're going to port over a lesser version and not really tell the fans why. And we're leaving off two gameplay modes and online. That will really make people want this version. There's no doubt about it, it's going to be flying off the store shows. No Tecmo, I think you're doing a great job of alienating your PC market. It's the only explanation why you would port over a lesser version and on top of that be lacking two major gameplay modes as well as online support. Because honestly, what is even the point of playing a fighting game if you can't play it with your friends? Sure, technically you could still play it at the keyboard and controllers around your desk, but that just doesn't make sense in the realm of PC gaming. But that's just my opinion and the end of the little game show I call Good News, Bad News. As always, we'll keep our eyes open and see what happens next. That's all for now. Peace out.